So we're going to look at a couple docking scenarios here. So we have our two docks. Uh, one's oriented lengthwise to the river, the other one's oriented perpendicular. Do you have your prevailing wind and current moving to the left there? And imagine you're approaching with your rowing shell. I'll give you some rears there. And you're coming up to this dock, and you want to get a little closer to it, and the wind and current's blowing you in. Well, you might consider approaching it with your bow pointing slightly into it, And as you come up to it, turn away from the dock, pushing your stern into it. So if you turn away from the dock at this point, turn to the left, your rudder would go to the left, and that would push your stern in, and you make a very nice docking, and your rudders could reach out, and you'd come in right perpendicular to it. Now, say you're approaching the dock, and maybe your stern uh, was too far into the dock, or maybe the entire boat was too far into the dock, and you're about to hit it. Say you approach the dock and you were maybe too far inside of it, and uh, of course we have our shore over here, so you have to land on this side of the dock right there, and you're too far into it, so as you approach the dock you became a little bit angled to it, and give you some riggers, and you're afraid you're going to catch that corner of the dock as you come in and the wind and current's pushing you. What you would actually want to do is turn into the dock at that point. Put your right hand forward, since your boat's going this direction. Putting your right hand forward will actually turn the rudder to the right, pushing the stern to the left, and make actually a very nice docking. Keep your stern just a little bit that away, and you'll make a nice parallel docking to the dock. So looking at how that might work, when you are lined up to come in to this dock and the wind and currents pushing you, you could consider coming in over here perpendicular to it. And as you approach the dock, using your right hand to turn towards, kicking your stern around, so start kicking your stern this way with your right hand, bringing that rudder down and around. And as you bring your boat lined up, to the dock, keep your right hand forward, that's going to keep moving your stern this way, and eventually you'll wind up nice and parallel with the dock, and the wind will just help you along the rest of the way to blow in parallel with the dock. The biggest thing to remember here is not only do you have your rudder available, but you also have rowers available, which are much more useful to turn the boat quickly to hold water or to row around. So, say you wanted to quickly turn this boat because the rudder just wasn't quite doing a good enough job and you were afraid you are going to hit your bow onto the edge of the dock there. You could have seven seat place their blade in the water and hold water. And as we've talked about in some of our other videos, that moves the pivot point from the center bow of the boat out here. So now we have our boat that's going to pivot about this blade and actually kick the bow away from the dock while bringing the stern a little bit closer as well. And if you really want to um, accelerate the boat that way and make a quicker turn, you could even have two seat row at this point. So a two seat taking some strokes and creating a force that way and seven seat holding creating an opposite force, the boat will actually pivot relatively around its center at that point and help to draw the bow to the right in the stern to the left. So your bow will go right away from the dock, giving you some more time to, to think and get lined up. So that's if you had uh, you know seven seat hold. Say if you were to have uh, maybe bow seat hold in this situation, what might happen with the boat? The same scenario, you're coming in, you're about to hit your bow ball in the dock, coming in at an angle. So you decide to have bow seat hold. Well at this point, the bow is going to go very little to the right and a lot to the left. So you would expect to see the boat pivot about that bow seat blade, which could be useful for you, but you're still going to be moving forward to that point and it may not draw the bow to the right quite quick enough. So it may be more beneficial in this scenario to have seven and five hold water and that'll help draw the bow to the right. Whatever you need to do to keep the bow from hitting or keep your boat from hitting and just remember how the boat's going to be drawn one way or another, how it's going to be forced over. So there is a big difference between using uh, seven or eight seat hold water versus using bow seat or two seat to hold water. So just try to visualize that as you're coming into the dock 
have a plan already in place, then it's a lot easier for you to call out numbers and let everyone in the boat know what's going on and what you expect from them. So hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Good luck.